In this video, I'm going to show you how to make realistic looking icicles, just out of hot glue and plastic wrap. Before we start, make sure you have some toothpicks on hand and scissors. Then tear off a good sized sheet of your plastic wrap. It doesn't matter what size you use here, because making icicles isn't an exact science. The plastic wrap will form the core of your icicle, so it's actually better to use more than you need. The more you use, the firmer and straighter your core will be. I'm actually going to make small icicles here, just a couple inches long and quite thin, so I'm going to use even less than this. The easiest way of cutting the plastic wrap is to make one small cut with your scissors, and then tear it off like so. Don't worry if you don't get a perfect rectangle, the shape doesn't matter at all. Now grab your toothpick and lay your strip down on your work surface. Place the toothpick on the longer edge. You want about half of it sticking out so it's easier to remove it later. Then put your finger on the other corner and start rolling the toothpick. This will create the core of your icicle. Keep rolling until the plastic is wrapped all the way around itself. The tighter the better. Here's a pro tip. Keep your workspace clean and clear of glue before you do this. If you want thicker icicles, you can use a pencil or wood dowel instead of the toothpick. You'll end up with more of a conical shape. Just remember to use a lot more plastic wrap if you do this. Now this ended up too long, so I'm just going to cut it in half. I will use the other end to make another icicle later. Now grab your hot glue gun and start coating the plastic wrap in glue. You want to start applying glue from the top down to the tip. Just don't put too much glue on at any one time, or it will all run down to the tip where you don't want it to go. It's much better to build out your layers of glue gradually, so you can control the shape more easily. Do use a lower heat setting, or the plastic will melt and curl up. If this happens too badly, it's honestly easier just to start over. You do have some leeway, because you can just add more glue later to even out the shape. But trust me, it's far easier to get it straight right from the start. If you plan on making larger icicles, you may want to use clear cellophane instead of the plastic wrap, just to have a firmer core. But for these small ones, what I really like about the plastic wrap is the way it crinkles and melts when you apply the hot glue. This is what really gives these icicles that realistic look. Now you're just adding glue wherever you want your icicle to be thicker. Don't forget that larger icicles will be more conical in shape and should have a thicker base. The tip of the icicle is a little bit more finicky to get right. You may have to redo it a couple of times before it plays nice. But that's the beauty of using hot glue. You can remelt it as often as you need to. You need to be a bit patient when you're doing the tip to produce better results. You can see I had too much glue coming out of the glue gun at this point, which made it a lot more difficult than it should have been. You really just want a blob of glue on the tip of the icicle, and then to use the hot metal end of the glue gun to shape it the way you want. When you've got a shape you're happy with, let it cool a little before removing the glue gun. If you take the gun away too early, you'll end up with a long stringy bit that doesn't look like ice at all. If you're going to use a lot more hot glue than what I am here, then stick your icicle in cold water between each application of the glue. This will just make it cool down a whole lot faster, and will also help it to keep its shape as you apply more glue. You don't need to dry it off completely afterwards, just shake off the excess water before adding more glue. And there you have it, you've just made an icicle out of hot glue. Now I made a whole bunch of these icicles, varying shapes and sizes, and turned them into a crown for a winter themed photo shoot. What will you do with yours? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope this video helped you, and if it did, then please subscribe, like, or comment. Thanks for watching!